What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got the brand new OnePlus 7 Pro and let me just start off the video by saying this phone's ridiculous. Now this phone has a ton of really cool features and we're gonna go over those all in a second but for those of you interested in the cool packaging that it came with, when I unboxed this thing it had a lot inside. And once I got inside of the box, first thing that I got my hands on was the reviewer's guide and inside of this OnePlus pretty much outlined all of the cool new features that this thing came with, all of the specs, and under that they included the OnePlus Bullet Wireless 2s, the next iteration of their Bluetooth earbuds, and next to that they included their OnePlus Warp Charge 30 car charger, and of course after that we got to the actual OnePlus 7 Pro itself, but they actually seem to have like a hidden compartment all the way at the bottom. It housed two of their standard phone cases. And I gotta say, OnePlus really puts together some awesome packaging. But when it comes to unboxing the 7 Pro itself, you of course get this booklet case, but the real prize is right under that, the OnePlus 7 Pro. But of course the box does come with some more accessories. You can expect a new warp charger, as well as of course that standard red USB type C cable. And inside of the box with the booklets, you'll also get this clear case. So if you don't have a case already, you can actually use that right out of the box. And of course some paperwork, which nobody will read. Now, let's talk about this beauty that we have in the Nebula blue color, the OnePlus 7 Pro. This phone, I'm telling you guys, love at first sight. This thing, is gorgeous. It's a 6.67 inch display. It is a quad HD display and it's an AMOLED display as well. Uh, but one thing you'll notice guys, check out the top. We've got no notch. So no front facing camera right here at the top. It is a perfectly beautiful display with no huge chins or bezels. It looks gorgeous. Now the only thing I don't like about this display guys is that it has those edges like a Samsung Galaxy device. I am not a fan of like this infinity edge display. For me, I just give me everything right up front. I don't want it to spill off on the sides. If they didn't do that, I would say that this has the perfect phone design ever. Like it would be a perfect looking phone for me. Let me know what you guys think with a comment down below. Do you prefer these like edges that go off to the side, like these infinity edges, or would you prefer to have everything all on one slab looking forward? Now, of course, you're probably wondering where's the camera, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, but what else is cool about this display is that it's running at 90 hertz. So this thing is going to give you a much smoother, buttery experience when you're going through menus and you're swiping around, and of course, even playing video games. Now I'm personally really happy about that because the game that I play the most right now, which is Dragalia Loss, is able to take advantage of that. And check this out guys, when I'm actually playing a game, you can see this thing takes up the entire display and it looks absolutely awesome. And like I said, it being at 90 Hertz, this game looks so much smoother. It's kind of like the difference between playing on a PC and a console. So we've got this big, fast, vibrant, full display, but we got to answer the question of where's the front facing camera. And you know, it pops up, baby. So when you jump into the camera app and you throw that front facing camera on, boom, comes right up there. It's futuristic. I love it. Now, of course, there's going to be concerns about the motor. This thing is going to maybe mess up at some point, but they actually did some really cool stuff with this so that it can calm some of our worries. And I believe OnePlus tested this thing and opened it about 300,000 times. And to put that in perspective for you guys, they said if you opened your phone or the front facing camera 150 times a day, it would last you five years. So at least when it comes to the motor degenerating and messing up over time, that's something that's not really a huge concern. Also, another concern for a front facing camera that pops out is what happens if you happen to drop it uh, and it falls on the camera or something, if it breaks. But check this out. So we have it here, and if we were to drop it, it automatically shuts. So you don't have to do anything. If it slips out of your hand, the camera will retract because the phone uses accelerometers, so it knows when the phone is falling, and it can detect that and immediately retract the camera to protect it. Now, you might be wondering, what about face unlock, right? Well, you could just look at the phone, boom unlocks super, super quickly. Now, I was afraid that trying to have the camera pop up 
and then unlock the phone. It would just make a slow process, but that's quick, guys. That is a really fast unlocking experience. Only thing I am a little bit concerned about is like if I were to have it in my pocket and then like I hit the power button by accident and this thing pops up trying to find my face, that's where I have a little bit of a concern. Uh, but as of right now, I love this thing. It's really cool. Very Apple Find X-ish, uh, but absolutely done right. So of course they switched up the front facing camera, but they changed the rear cameras as well. So right here, we've got three cameras and I'm happy about this. So now they've got your regular standard camera lens, your telephoto, and now your super wide angle lens. This is also a 48 megapixel camera. So we're supposed to see some really high resolution stuff from this and I'm really excited to try it out. But I am so, so happy that OnePlus added this super wide angle lens. This is absolutely necessary in phones these days. Now you might've heard me mention warp charge before, and that is also a feature included on this guy. Right down here, you'll be able to charge it up using warp charge 30. And for those of you who aren't familiar with warp charge 30, that thing is going to charge this guy insanely fast, like crazy. And that's a feature we first saw on the OnePlus 6T, I believe McLaren edition, and I am very stoked to see it here. Now, one of the cool features that they included with this Warp Charge 30 is being able to do something really intensive like gaming and not have the phone get extremely hot while you play. So that is something we're gonna be testing out during the real day in the life, and we're gonna see how this actually works out. But that is a really, really promising feature. Now, some features that are missing are one, an official IP rating, uh, OnePlus, has put out some interesting messaging out there to show that this thing is pretty water resistant, uh, but there's no official IP rating for that. Also missing is wireless charging. So if you're a big fan of that, OnePlus isn't, so you're not gonna get that here. But overall though, I am really happy with the way this phone looks. This Nebula Blue is absolutely amazing. I love that they have the nice new cameras, uh, the screen is gorgeous. It is going to be awesome using this phone, which I already have been, but we're gonna talk more about that in a real day in the life. Now, the only thing I don't know as of filming this video right now is the pricing for this guy. I imagine that this is going to be a bit expensive, maybe the $600 range. I don't know, I can see OnePlus really throwing the price up on this guy, but hopefully they don't. I'll of course include in the description what the price is once this video goes out and the announcement is out with it. But uh, as of right now, guys, this is quite the phone to look out for, and this thing is amazing. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be the cool guy or go like this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.